folks so we're back once again in Lakeside Ridge uh, made a little bit more progress last episode than I think I realized by the end of it we do have a power situation that we need to get on top of pretty sharp Jay Bear is naked is he in the shower yeah he's in the shower so we're gonna have you die in this fantastic hat and trench coat mm. prioritize working on that generator because we need it especially uh, I think it's the research bench takes a lot of power now it's got like three mm. different uh, Three different doodads attached to it. Did we get the furnace yet? I don't see it in here. Is it still in the research tree? Ah, that's what we're on now. Awesome. That'll give us our furnace. That'll be a nice big boost. That'll let us start making uh, plasteel. JB, could you get that, please? I know you've only got one foot, but like. Kind of actually need that just to uh, keep power going in the in the entire base. <laughs> now, I think that's now going to be positive on the power. Just barely. Okay, we. Wait, is this still damaged? Nope. Yeah, no, we just we still don't have enough power coming in. Uh, let's see, what else could we do? How much does a solar generate? About 1700. So it actually puts out more than the chem fuel, but only through the day. Um, yeah, I guess we need another solar generator. I can wait for you. Awesome, so we'll just we'll throw down another solar generator then. You know, if that's what it's if that's what it's gonna take. To keep everything working, right? That's not gonna kick in till tomorrow now though. Hopefully you die can at least get the uh, the majority of the construction done today. Although I, honestly I'm not sure if he will. It is well, it's only 7 p.m. He's got he's got a little bit of time. And then hopefully once uh, morning rolls along and all three of these generators kick in, we'll get to the point where we can uh, yeah, well we can actually survive and gain power. So we'll turn off everything in here. We'll have uh, Ash Gear go turn off all the uh, the lights in that room. Who's number one on? Uh, yeah, Bashki, you are meant to be turning off all of these things, but I guess you're going to be a douche about it and make me uh, turn them all off myself. So even with the wind turbine on full, a geothermal generator. And two chem fuel generators. We just have that much of a power usage. Here we have a mad animal. Awesome. So the turrets are actually taking up a lot of that power. We should probably turn those off in the morning. As soon as it gets to a reasonable time, we'll have Bashkia drag himself out of bed and see to that. It's 5 a.m. That's good enough. What we get? There we are. So between the decreased power drain from the guest quarters being off and the increased input of having all of these generators, we are now storing more uh, energy, which is nice. We're actually storing that at a pretty reasonable pace too. I guess I didn't realize how much uh, energy those turrets actually take. And we have like 900 wood. I would like to um, line the floor of this place with wood at some point. But it's not on my, uh, my urgent list. We can, however, finish off the sandstone pathway there. Which will be super nice. That means people are going to be able to get around a lot easier. We've stopped walking through the freezer for no good reason. Also pretty happy about that. We just need that uh, that smelter up and running so that we can start making uh, glass steel. But, something else we do actually have to do here. We want to deconstruct the beds in this room. And you're going to see why in a moment. What we want to do is replace them with a couple of medical beds. Hopefully we have... Um, what we, what we need to make the vitals monitor too, but I think they might need gold ore for the circuitry, and I don't believe we have any of that. Like, I don't think there's any even on the map. We will have a quick look around. What is that? It's just a 
dead chinchilla. We don't care too much about a dead chinchilla. We still have all this steel down there that's still to be hauled. Can we just... Why is that not being hauled anyway? I guess we don't have enough people doing hauling. So what do you do? I've forgotten who you are. You do a lot, actually. You do a hell of a lot. I think, for now, she's just been, um... Gold making. So is this... Oh, we just don't have this grow zone anymore. Okay. Um, didn't realise we'd killed off our potato grow zone. Not sure when we did that. I'm gonna blame the uh, the communists. We'll go with rice just to get a quick harvest in here. Once I find where rice is on this list, there it is. I have to keep up our uh, growers busy for a moment or two. Priscilla is now uh, finding bone creep, so I guess she's just gonna be uh, pottering around the craft room for basically her entire life. That's okay. Don't know why that's still out there, but we'll get rid of it. We still haven't, um... Yeah, we still... Jebe, can you just check there's no ships in range? Yeah, there's definitely no ships in range. We're not getting very lucky with that at all. And we have plenty of rooms now, but we lack jail rooms. Okay, these have been taken care of. So, architect, I believe it's going to be in furniture. Hospital bed. Oh, that takes medicine. Okay, so we'll have just deconstructed those for no reason. So we'll, uh... We'll put some back in, I guess. Bit of a bit of a goof on my part to have done that. I basically want to attach that simple, prostrate, uh, simple prosthetic foot to Jebe so that he has at least something to uh, hobble around on until we can get the fast steel production up and running. Which actually, we might not bother with that because the plasteel production is about to be up and running. We have three guys planting a bunch of rice. That's going to um, mature quite quickly. It doesn't bring in as much per harvest as the potatoes do, but with the size of the grow zone we have, it shouldn't be an issue. And there it is. We can now build smelters. We have been waiting for that for a while. Let's uh, electric smelter. We'll throw that in this corner here. You die if you wouldn't mind. I want that built pretty much yesterday. the old, uh, it's the old World War One entry uniform that Kim wore for so long. So, we have two things that we want to do with this. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, let's let's take a look here. Now we don't actually have any of this stuff. The um. There are things you can grow that produce resources. And this does not do what I wanted it to do. So we may look into this research tree and just look at, look at maybe just growing that stuff. It's something I had on for... Um... Yeah, it's a mod that lets you grow resources. We're going to add it into the, the list. And the reason we have that is certain maps that I played on before this, I had literally no um, pastille or steel, uranium, things that you need in the long term. And I was just without all of them. So I guess now that we have the smelter, we can't even cremate people in it. Which, I guess, that is next on the, the list. Yeah. So we can now stop worrying about having to bury people. We can just burn them. Awesome. So, we're going to add a bill on here. Once we find... Uh, burn bodies. Which I still don't see on here. Is that another... Cool. Um... Scavenge? No. <clears throat> yeah, I actually still don't see... 
blown bodies on there. Oh well, we'll deal with that another time. And you know what, I think what we're going to do is going to, going to, um... Mad animal, okay, um... Him is a turtle, please kill it. Awesome. Now, I think Kim was actually bringing up some of the steel from the bottom end of the map there. But yeah, like I was saying, I think what we're going to do is quickly just alter our research tree. We want research plants on number one. Oh, sorry, resource plants. We're just, we're going to skip a few steps and try probing the occult deities. See if that gives us any more gods. Okay. See if that uh, alt will allow us to start researching. Then we'll get back to our riot gear and then to our powered armor. It's going to take a while to get a last, but we want advanced nuclear also on that list. Yudai is making something. What are you making, buddy? Small bone sculpture. Don't we have enough of those? No, we need three more. Bashki is no longer on a shooty shooty bang bang inspiration. That is just fine with us. We still have an almost incomprehensible amount of food to compare to what I'm used to. Let's see. Are we... No, we are still gaining power with all of the turrets on. But I think we'll turn two of them off. Just to uh, be a little bit on the safe side with our power usage. We'll let Bashgear drop off whatever it is he's got there. I think he's, yeah, he's holding wood. Things are progressing pretty well. I think we're gonna, um... Yeah, we'll, we'll build some plasteel and some steel producing plants. Sorry, yeah. Plant them over here and refine them. I was hoping to do it from bone, but for some reason, uh... We do have advanced bone refining, don't we? Bone refining, advanced bone refining, yeah, it should. It requires high tech research bench, multi analyzer. Yeah, we have the stuff, but for some reason it's just uh, it's not in there. So we're just going to go with the plant version instead. It can be a little bit unbalanced for the purpose of the game, which is meant to be about, you know, research resource management and trade but they take so long to grow and produce so little that I'm not going to be overly concerned about it I just want it for making limbs for my people and we have the spare farm space so why not ah, so looks like we actually cannot run our turrets all the time any longer we just don't have the power for it Well, not without uh, maybe adding another two uh, chem fuel generators, maybe. There are a couple of steam geysers down here. I think there's one there, one there. So if we were to build a power facility down here and link it into the main base, then we might be able to do something about it. We do have enough bone creep that we could try that. It might be worth looking into. We'll uh, we'll consider our options. And there's already a building there that we could use as like the uh, the battery room. And then we could just build two little walls around them, a couple of turrets next to each one. Battery room in there, power conduits in it. It's uh, it, that might be a project we're going to look at over the uh, next couple of days in game. The doors, yeah, we have our medical beds back. Well, they're kind of medical beds. They're close. Rash gear, it's 7 in the morning, go turn that turret off. We must remember to turn those back on when the next raid arrives. Priscilla's still turning a bunch of those bones into uh, bone crete. The point now, um, 
don't think we have that many bones left, which is good. We don't want an infinite amount of them. Make calcium powder, make plasteel from calcium. See, that's there, but I guess... Let's see if she does that now. I guess I was just in the wrong place for it. I see. Well, see, I was doing it wrong. We can now make plasteel. So if she takes 40 of each resource, we currently have 45 plasteel. So let's see how much she makes by sacrificing these two resources, what we get in exchange. Oh, we get a lot. We just got 60 plasteel. Okay, so let's go to the Bionics workbench. That's going to take 150, so once she's done with this batch, we can build the Bionics workbench. We can turn that simple uh, prosthetic into a Bionic one. And then we'll be laughing, really. Did we get research for um, medicine production yet? Where's that at? research resource plants. We probably won't need those for a long time. I feel like we did uh, medicine production. See it in there. Let's take a look at this research tree, see if there's anywhere I can see it on here. I think that would have been higher on my list. That's all like replacement organs and things. We'll add advanced bionics to the list. Mad animal, and we don't have any power right now. It's just a boar. So I think we'll uh, we'll grab Kim, Bashkia, and McKay. Throw them in there. They should be able to take care of that along with the traps. They all have rapid fire weapons. Yep. Simple enough for them. So we're gonna go to our Bionics workbench here. We are going to go ahead and plan out solar flare. Awesome. Plan out our. Uh... What's going on here? Don't crash them again. Also. We're going to plan out. down here. We will have to stick a couple of turrets in it. When people raid they are going to try and destroy it. Priscilla just wandered over to where Kim was and the two of them started swinging at each other. That's lovely. Those two really don't like each other very much. I'll have them go, uh, go shake that off. In fact, maybe we don't put a door there. Maybe we have an entrance up 
here and we can just stick a couple of turrets in front of it, have them always on. Solar flares ending, that's going to be nice. So we're also going to want a uh, power conduit. Can power conduits go through water? They cannot. Can we do anything about that? No. Um, we can't just dry it up. So we're just going to be disconnected from this entire area, aren't we? What can we do about that, I wonder? We can't dry up the river. So I think... Yeah, I think... Uh, we're in fact just going to cancel all of this. That was a waste. Let's see, do we have any other geothermals on this side? We have another one here and here. So this is probably better. So we'll probably do similar to what we did last time. We'll order the two geothermals. And I think this is going to be a, a fairly substantial expansion of our base. Okay, so we are going to need a moisture pump up there. We'll tie this one into this one. And this one into the power grid. And then I think this is probably just going to be a massive increase in our farmland. So once these walls are up, we'll get a moisture pump in there. Once that's done its job, we will remove this wall and seal that one. Two more geothermals will make our power just absurd. It will be an absurd amount of power. Now then. How much would it take to make a bionic foot. 10 plus steel 2 components. I want a bionic foot. While I have time. Where is... I would have thought I would have been able to see medicine production in here. This is a lot of stuff to sift through. I'm sure some of you will know exactly where it is. The line goes up to here, which is that. That's microelectronics though. Okay. This is drug production down here. Well, uh, yeah, medicine production, we have it. That's good. Brewing as well. Um, oh. So I wonder what I'm. Did I just miss like the uh, the bench for that? Oh yeah, drug lab. I'm guessing drug lab. Lab makes um, medicine. And of course, we'll put the drugs next to the food because that can only really end well. More cargo pods. What do we get there? Dromedary leather. Sounds cool. I'll take six. The, uh, the construction guys are going to have their work cut out, of, out for them for a while now. Uh, Kim, how's your health? You're missing a finger. That's going to suck. Everything else looks to be in working order, though. You know what I think we're going to have you craft, uh, craft that new bionic. We'll get Jaybear his, uh, his first one. And then we're going to have to organize surgery, and for that, I would really like to have some genuine medicine, and not um, the herbal stuff. Okay, so the 
does that mean we can now use this thing? No. Yeah, I have no idea about that occult stuff. I think I'm, I'm about ready to give up with that and just tear it all down. Now then. We're producing Plasteel at a pretty decent rate. Eventually the map is going to run out of resources for us to do that with. That Bionic, how much work is left on that? Only 60. Uh, you die, could you please prioritize the drug lab? We have elephants out there. We could try and tame them. I'm not sure I'm confident enough in uh, our people's abilities to do that. So, can you produce medicine? And antibiotics. No. Make medicine. Do forever. Awesome. Pretty, pretty uh, stoked about that. We'll have Priscilla probably change on to doing that instead of what she has been doing. And then, uh, yeah, nearly there for your foot, buddy. And then we need to make bionic eyes, like just a bunch of bionic eyes. Once the sun comes up, the power will kick back in. But uh, we definitely need those new geothermals. I didn't realize how um, close to the line we were on that stuff. Okay, Priscilla, can I do skill to law? Okay. Details. What do we need for this? Medicine of six and crafting of three. So once Kim's done with that bionic foot, we're going to have her craft some medicine, because she has both of those skills pretty high. And uh, that way, wait, what? I need material, what do I need? Bandage kits, we don't have bandage kits, okay. Um, make 10 bandage kits, do until you have. We'll go for, you know, keeping 25 of those on hand seems good. Didn't realize there was so much um, work going into making medicine. But that makes sense. Now, I believe did we, uh, we finished the resource plants. And I think we're actually going to start making those now because they do require quite a bit of time to grow uh, we'll go for steel shrooms there and then we'll go for oh no that's that's not what I wanted to do oh, well uh, I guess we'll have to wait for the expanded farmland before we can build the, the plasteel shrooms. Or maybe we won't bother with those and we'll just get these uh, steel producing mushrooms and then refine them along with the bones into other things. You die constructing our new area there quite uh, quickly. Of course we want a moisture pump there. Looks like Jabez helping with that construction, but he is of course just slow as hell. That's right, we've got this ambrosia up here. Uh, we'll harvest this and probably just sell it. Makes it a pretty decent drug. Simplistic table covered in researchers work here to uncover forces beyond. But they don't, do they? Unless... Can we now build an altar as something different? That's a forbidden knowledge center. Called altar. Okay, I see what I've done wrong. 
So we'll, we'll reinstall this just over in the workshop. And we'll build an altar there and then we can start being a cult. I'm sure that's going to go well. And a uh, couple more days we should have a new power generation in place. That's obviously not a small project we ordered. I do think we, um, yeah, 500 is plenty of plasteel to keep on hand. So if we have it doing that forever, they will literally just do it forever. So if they have nothing else to do, make calcium powder. I think we're just about out of bones, so I think it's time to order some hunts. That is a lot of boars. That should be plenty. This is uh, quite possibly the largest Rimworld base I've ever constructed. There is going to be a lot of dead space in here. I'm not sure entirely what we're going to use it all for. We could have just um, walled off like a little area here for our power generation, which might have honestly been a better plan. But I guess we do still need to build a nice big rec room with like pool tables and fancy sofas. Okay, we finished riot combat gear. And there's someone off hunting some boars. Let's see, you die, could you please Build back so looking at it. I think yeah, that one will be connected once it's built. So I would like that constructed so that we can uh, stop running out of power every night. Of course that means you have to clear trees, which he is not exactly an expert at. Wild for revenge. Oh, yep, it's actually uh There we are. Tortoise meat is right away in storage. Isn't this... Why is it so warm in here? Oh, because some moron has left potatoes in the doorway. I even moved the... Uh, sorry, rice. I even moved the farming area so that they wouldn't do that. I've moved it a step away from these. So I guess, yeah, this... We can expand into a production area, because this one's getting quite cramped. We'll move our farmland into here. Just keep it well away from the uh, freezer, because that's a few times now that people have done that. And it is uh, very unhelpful. Is Udai going to... Nope, he's not quite ready to begin the construction. It takes eight components for that. It's going to be a... Yeah, that's gonna take some uh, take a big chunk out of what we're capable of doing. Still no ships for us to trade with on this. You normally get a lot more ships on the uh, orbital trade beacons than we have been uh, given access to. Or JB hauling things around. How much wood do we have? We have over a thousand. I think we'll wait for um, this to be done, and then we'll re-floor in there. Major break risk. You die. What's wrong, buddy? Oh. Uh. Urgently hungry. Really free. Oh, Kim turned him down. So, I guess he was, uh. Yeah, he's upset by that. But hey ho, buddy. Pick yourself up and move on. Not the uh, the first person to be rejected, and I will be excessively surprised if you're the last. Although at this point, a meteor could land and kill the entire colony, and then you might well be the last. So take your shot while you've got them, I guess. Ooh, Devil Strand's nearly done. That makes really good clothing. We just had a nice big cotton harvest, and we have it. Have a raid. That would be one of my cats freaking out if you just heard that. 
So let's see what we're dealing with here. Quite a few of these guys again. We'll unforbid that, but for now... We're going to get everyone up and over to here. We're going to turn on all our turrets. I'll have bash gear, see to that. Single speed. Um, Oliver. And Priscilla on there. Get them on the turrets. Kim. You die assigned their positions. Jebear. And Kelly over there. Get McCann here as well. Missing. I feel like I'm missing someone. No, that's two, four, six. That's everyone. So, yep, they are attacking straight away. We didn't manage to hit them with the mortars. That's a little bit of a shame. So we'll uh, we'll get Oliver up into that bunker. And Priscilla can just hide behind that one for now. Thankfully our people move a little bit faster than theirs. All these uh, nice walkways we've made for ourselves. So they're going to have a bad time when they come around this corner, but there are a lot of them. Like a hell of a lot of them. That was a big shot. Taking all of these crazy amounts of turrets. I'm pretty sure we just shot Jay there. Melee attack. Get all of these people out here melee attacking people. Oh, these guys just, uh, they don't ever give up. They're like, I don't think I've ever seen these guys retreat. Bashkia. Uh, yeah. Bashkia. Rescue Jebear. Oh, wow. Um. Okay, let's uh, get on to the treatment phase. Kelly, please rescue Priscilla. Long nose. Now these, like I say, I've never seen these guys retreat. I actually don't think they're capable of it. So, Oliver, what are you doing? Consuming a fine meal? That's fine. You can rest now, though. Uh, Tend to Jebe, who needs rescue? Priscilla. Isn't Priscilla already... God damn it, Kelly. Just drop Priscilla in a corridor and run away to have food. Okay, so the doctors will now get to their doctoring business. Thankfully, these guys brought us the medicine we need to heal our own people. So let's see here. Nothing else missing. Nothing else missing. Mad animal, the turret is still on, they can take care of that. Okay, so nothing's missing. We do have a couple of scars. We have five people who are bedridden for now. Uh, there's a decent doctor and researcher there. I think we'll try and uh, block the drain. Oh, that's fine. Oh, damn it. Kim... Yeah, get back to bed. Bashkia, tend to Kim. That was a boomer lob, that sucks. Uh, no, uh, Kim, you rest until you're healed. You don't, you don't do anything else. Now who's infected? Oh, it's still just Kim. Or is that two infections? That's two infections. 
Uh, yeah, Kim, it, it's it's not gonna be pleasant to be you for a while. So we now have a bunch more people to bury, unless it's finally gonna let us use this smelter to cremate bodies. Like it is. I wonder why that is. We did research, didn't we? Yeah, electric crematoriums. Is that a different thing, maybe? Electric smelter. Extract suitable chunks. Consumable power. Okay. Um, maybe the refinery? Where the graves are, so maybe it's in here. Nope. No, I could swear that we should be able to um, destroy bodies in here. Oh, well, I guess we're just gonna have to dig more graves. Yeah, I don't blame him for being upset here. She should be fine as long as she stays in bed. And then hopefully uh, tomorrow we can actually get this thing finished. So we are going to uh, unforbid all. Really enjoyed this day. Like there's some emu, emu leather, plasteel bulbs, and snow beads. Okay. Well, um. We still need to expand the graveyard once again. It's getting absurd now the amount of uh, people we've buried out here. You'd think people would have learned to stop trying to attack us because of it, but, uh. Nope, they continue on. I guess we uh, continue on with our research. You die. He's already building that generator. Well, I think we'll have uh, J Bear prioritize working on those graves. Hopefully, we don't waste too many of those uh, ball bodies. In fact, I would like Kelly to prioritize working on that because uh, yeah, we need the we need both the meat and the bone. Really sucks to have Kim laid off like this, as uh, she's the one who was going to be installing J Bear's new foot, which uh, she did finish making, thankfully. I think that's it there, bionic foot. But we also need her to make the medicine before she can perform the operation, which uh, she should be able to do now. Do until you have 30 is a reasonable amount of regular medicine to have. Uh, the herbal stuff can just sit there as long as it likes. And it can be a decent fallback, but we don't want to spend too long turning things from one into another. But I think all that is just going to have to wait for next episode. We have our power up and running. We have a grave, I guess. Uh, so yeah, that'll be it for this episode, folks. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.